Hey folks, Elk Rex here, and just uh, received a package in the mail today. Gonna do a little bit of unboxing for you. I uh, been expecting this package for a while there, and one of the reasons I've been waiting for a while because I kind of fell through the cracks when it came to receiving this. And what we have already cracked that part is the Kickstarter for the Blood and Plunder uh, game. It's a pirate game from uh, Firelock Games. I had a little bit to do with the initial part of this game before it even went to Kickstarter. Was that uh, I had the initial set of miniatures in my hand before anybody else seen them. And I painted up uh, some of the miniatures that were seen with the initial Kickstarter when it went first to uh, live before they brought in their in-house painters. So I've seen these miniatures before because I painted them. And if you ever looked at any of them when it first went on board, I uh, did some of that work. All right, so what we got here is let's pull this up. It is where's this front of this thing at? A uh, naval ship. Got the old pirate. I think this might be the sloop. It's a nice little naval ship, all nice and resin. I've seen some of the guys that already received these things, and they painted up really nice. It looked great. I can't wait to get my hand on this thing. And uh, all right, so we got the ship with the mass, and we got the active act, act, can't even talk. Uh, the activation deck for England, and yep, it is a sloop. I was correct. All right, so there's a card that goes with this thing, and uh, it's just yep, it's a single card. And then we've got the English Buccaneers. All right, let's pull this out right here real quick. Blood and Plunder from Firelock Games. All right, there's some place in the back here I probably got my... They got a listing of all the uh, um, backers on here. They had it, they showed it on their website on Facebook is like here's all the backers and I was like oh, it's too small I can't read it somewhere in here my name is I would imagine I would have to look carefully go down the list but I'll do that later let's go through a quick breeze all right blood and plunder artillery rules clarification so they must have a little errata that's kind of nice they added that paper right there I like a quick reference sheet it's always nice to have something separate that you can just look at all the, the data how to play the game is up on their website so I and it's real quick and they just had some videos and stuff on how to play the game and from the quick look I've had it was pretty cool and I've watched there's a lot of the videos now that you got the actual rules in your hand you can uh, go through it all right, so it looks like the first is a historic. Uh, they brought in an actual historian to help write the uh, keep everything within um, uh, truthfulness, I guess you could say, in writing up a lot of what's the uh, history overview of the game. All right. Well, interesting. Some of those guys look familiar. Alright. Some nice pictures. You got your dice. Your squads. How the basics, how to play the game. Yeah. Cool. And let's keep looking through here. So you basically got a lot of stuff I'm going to have to crank through and just figure this all out. Because I'd like to get into playing a few games. I'm going to get a couple more sets of the uh, miniatures uh, when the time comes to actually set this up. I want to get some of the... They got um, Spanish, French, 
English, they have um, natives. And I kind of, the way I look at it some ways is that some of the uh, different groups can be swapped together so you could have kind of ad hoc if you wanted to groups as they got together. And if you look at throughout history, they had um, groups from all different places that got together that were part of crews or even slaves that former slaves joined crews. Brigantines. All right, so we got a lot of information here. Uh, English units. French units, French, those guys look pretty good, I might have to get around and maybe if I can dig up, I got some pictures I took when I uh, painted these guys up, I'll dig them out and maybe I'll attach them to the uh, video at the end, to show you some of the ones that I did. I think uh, I'll go dig through the miniatures here in a second. Nice templates. Probably photocopy that and cut them out. All right, rule book. All right, let's see. Uh, miniatures. There's where all the fun is. Oh, need a knife. There we go. Mm. Lots of miniatures. Side. All right, so we got English Buccaneers, Freebooters, Sea Dogs. Hmm, they look familiar. And okay, we got English Buccaneer Captain, experienced, untested, seasoned. Bernard Cedric. And may lead the English Buccaneer Force, Roberts Serial. Names sound familiar. I don't know if those are historic or what. Basically, the whole thing with this game was uh, got started because uh, certain individuals I know that were that designed it. He uh, just loved the uh, the pirate show uh, Black Sails. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's see, it's not very good lighting, but you can see there's that one. I'm just looking for one of these guys that have his uh, um, foot up on something. I was doing the Captain Morgan look. Nice hat. And there, they come with their own little base. There we go. <laughs> I knew there's got to be one here somewhere. There you go. You got the Captain Morgan look. A little bit of rum, spiced rum. Let's go. So they all can, they have their own little base. So the reason for it is they have these small 25 mil bases, it or pretty close to 20, and they uh, are made so they can fit on the ship. So you can have all your guys get a full crew on board. And so if you had like your standard. Uh, um, like here, it's some troll bloods from uh, uh, Crick's uh, Blood Gorgers. You see how big that base is comparatively. So in in this game, they use a 30 mil base, and this is a little bit slightly less, so you can get them on board the ship. All right, on board, guys. Get on the ship. All right. Uh, I know there's a way in this. Okay. We got a little bit of everything. Got some riflemen. 
Okay, let's go with the dagger pistol. Another rifle. Another sword and pistol. Supply these up. And you got a guy with a hatchet. Another sword and pistol. I think there's two of everybody in this. So, now that I have these, I'll probably clean them up this weekend. Right now, it, we had snow and it's kind of nasty weather, so I probably won't be able to prime them until uh, Monday or Tuesday. So I'll have them all cleaned up by then. And then I'll get them painted and start working on them. Looks like there's three of those. Okay, we got one guy aiming. Let's see, looks like we're having a smattering of little everything. Kind of a nice little collection. But I thought there was supposed to be two of everybody. Mr. Hatchet Guy. supposed to be another one of these so this is it different All right. anyway so I'll eventually we'll get all these done oh there's one one's kneeling there's another captain another kneeler mr. aim three the uh, uh, I guess some of these will work as uh, militiamen too, as a uh, um, go out because you you could have a reactionary force. So let's say you have uh, Spanish pirates or those guys, and they decide to in your scenario you want to raid a uh, plantation area, so you end up with some of the guys that will be running around with uh, muskets and they'll activate and and uh, go out there and start hammering away so and reaction force to protect the plantation and make sure that no one runs off absconds off with their slaves and or goods or whatever it may be and then on board ship you're gonna have a few guys that are gonna have rifles you know you might put them up in the uh, rigging uh, so they're shooting down on anybody that's trying to board their ship or anything like that. So, yeah, that's one thing I'll uh, have to take a look at. And uh, when I get through, spend more time digging through the rules. But uh, I am looking forward to uh, getting this thing all done up. It's going to take me a little while to paint up these uh, the miniatures, but... Uh, there's a lot of detail in them, being for uh, metal miniatures, but uh, they'll look nice. And then as a resin, I'm going to have to give him a nice little uh, um, bath. So get all the, the uh, release agent off of it and, and cut out all the, the pore holes sides. Interesting. How much of that is supposed to be there? Because you got detail on this side and a little holes like that. I'm going to take a look at that. Now it looks like where maybe the anchor goes or something. I think they're supposed to be anchors. And underneath. And I have uh, some other options here too. Back when I was playing my Wild West games. I had some Wild West games that we used to play too. And I got some of the guys I hadn't quite finished painting up yet. And uh, could do uh, some other crazy stuff scenarios. There's all kinds of ideas. So if you're uh, curious 
look them up. It's uh, Blood and Plunder from Firelock Games. Like the, uh, you see, Firelock Games. Just type that into a search and for Blood and Plunder. And you can uh, find them on the web. And their stuff here in the last week or so, I think it was, or maybe two weeks ago, they went live where you can start ordering the rule book and the uh, miniatures off online. And they have, uh, uh, you can get mats too that have water for the ocean, then little islands that you can set up and do that kind of stuff. So you can actually fight battles with, if you have another ship, they also have, lar I think, a larger ship, and the uh, long boats. You can get long boats and stuff, and it's pretty uh, decent price for what you can get. So just look it up. This is Hulk Rex, and you guys have a great day.